if I wanted to integrate this, the first step would be to rewrite this as x to the one half plus one half x to the negative one half dx. That would be your first step. Now you can integrate each one of these. You add a power to one half, that would be x to the three over two. And then you divide by three over two, which that kind of can get a little ugly for people. Plus, leave the one half out front. When you add one to this, you get positive one half divided by one half. And don't forget plus c. Now, hopefully you will soon not write these fractions on the bottom. Hopefully you'll get to the point that you can just take this bottom and always just flip it and put the reciprocal, basically meaning that it's always just going to be this upside down. That's what it's going to look like. You just take this and flip it, and the bottom goes to the top, and the bottom, and the top stays on the bottom. That kind of didn't sound right. And this would be 1 half, and this would be 2x to the 1 half over 1. And so my answer, this twos are going to cancel. I have 2 thirds x to the 3 over 2 plus these cancel, leaving you x to the 1 half plus c. I would probably leave it like this and not even worry about changing the square roots or anything. That's good of an answer. All right, number 40. If I want to integrate this, the first step would be to distribute. So the integral of secant x tangent x minus secant squared x, and then we have dx. From there, you might go, what? That doesn't help me at all. But what you would notice is what derived gives you secant tangent? What, when you derive it, gives you secant tangent? What, when you derive, gives you secant squared? Well, isn't this one tangent? And isn't this one secant? Is that correct? Secant derived gives you secant tangent. So the integral of this is actually secant x. There's a minus there. And what derived gives you secant squared is tangent. So the integral of secant squared is actually tangent x. This worked out pretty. They don't always work out pretty. They, but in general, for the beginning, they will be something that you are familiar with. You can also look at your chart for these answers. You're going to have to start memorizing them again. But uh, once you do this, these are actually really simple answers.